Good evening. Welcome to the Institute for Spiritual Development. The Institute for Spiritual Development is a God-centered, spiritually inclusive, metaphysical church and community dedicated to our growing spiritual awareness in an atmosphere of unconditional love and acceptance. Welcome home. We apologize that we did not have class last week, but there was a situation out of everyone's control and it couldn't be helped. But we are continuing our classes today and for Tuesdays from now on. We believe that all paths lead us home. IST is dedicated to helping each spirit to walk their path with courage and joy. We stand for each individual's right to seek their personal truth as they respect the same right for others. We honor the sacred text of all traditions of the light. We believe that communication with all spirits is possible and is manifested in mediumship and healing. The Institute for Spiritual Development has services on the first and third Sundays of the month at 10.30 a.m. Our services are both physical and virtual. If you would like to attend our services physically, they are located at the Masonic Lodge in Madison at 170 Main Street. If you would like to attend our classes via Zoom, we have a Zoom link that you're using now as the same Zoom link for services. And if you'd like to be added to our mailing list, please put your email in the chat and we will include, we will include you on future classes, services, and uh, anything else that comes up. We are also looking to do a Thursday night healing. So if you're interested in a healing, please let us know. If you would like to request a healing for someone, you can go to our homepage at www.isdmadison.org and click on the healing link and fill out the information and we will hold a special healing for the person that you request. And if you'd like to see a particular class at ISD or facilitate a class, we would love to have you. So please let us know how we can serve. If you would like to make a donation to the Institute, please click on the donate button on our homepage or click on the link that will be put in the chat after the meditation as it costs money to keep our doors open and your love donation is greatly appreciated. We want to make sure that we are here to serve you. So in today's meditation, we are going to be looking at soul loss and we're going to be taking a shamanic journey. So you might be asking, what is soul loss? Soul loss can happen from any kind of abuse, whether it be sexual, emotional, physical, or mental an event of prolonged grief, pain, and fear that make you feel help, helpless or impotent, deep-seated addiction, substance dependency, gambling, eating, a near-death or out-of-body altered experience, being forced to act against your morals or values, an experience of intense rejection or abandonment, witnessing the unexpected death of someone, a sudden shocking accident, or entering a relationship without strong personal boundaries, resulting in unhealthy relationships and losing your personal power. Basically, living life can cause us to have our soul go into hiding, and it's a defense mechanism. Just as when the lion is hunting the zebra or the gazelle, they freeze in their steps to protect themselves. So kind of like your soul freezes during that event of trauma, you want to unfreeze it and get your soul fragments back to your being to feel complete and to enjoy life. So after the lion leaves, the zebra and the gazelle go back to eating and grazing as if nothing happened. But us as human beings, many times we harbor that pain inside and keep it. And many of us keep pains that are deep rooted in our inner beings for the rest of our life. So we're going to go into this meditation and see if there's anything that comes up, any parts of us that we would like to bring back to our inner being now, to make us feel ha happier, healthier, more balanced, and like we're whole and complete spiritually. So I'd like to ask everyone to just sit and relax and close your eyes, sit in a comfortable chair.
You're gonna start taking some deep breaths. Breathe in strength. And the out breath is gonna be longer than the in breath. Breathe out here. Breathe in strength. Breathe out chaos. Breathe in strength. Breathe out judgment. And with each breath, you become more and more relaxed. Feeling the oxygen. Reaching every cell of your body and being. From the top of your head down to your toes. Rejuvenating your cells. And you feel alive. And you feel the blood flowing through your arteries and veins. And scan your body. If there's any areas of pain or stress or worry. And send that part of your body some extra light and love. And kindly release it to Mother Earth for healing, as this energy does not belong to you. And just keep breathing in and out, relaxing. And you feel all your muscles relaxing. And now you'd like to scan your auric field, making sure the colors of your auric field are shining brightly in conjunction with your physical body. Notice the red of your base chakra, your root chakra, at the base of your spine. The color orange of your sacral plexus, your lower abdomen. Your solar plexus, your upper abdomen, the color yellow. And see the red and the orange and the yellow blending together. And you're feeling grounded and you're feeling creative and you're feeling safe. As you move up to your heart chakra, where you see the vibrant color green. And you feel unconditional love for yourself and others. As by law of attraction, we get back what we give. We can't love ourselves if we can't, we can't love others if we don't love ourselves first. We can only give what we have in our hearts. As we move up to our throat chakra, vibrant color blue. And think of you've been speaking your truth and setting your boundaries. Move up to the third eye between your two physical eyes. And notice your ability to see things, with your sixth sense. This is the color indigo. In the top of your crown, chakra, the top of your head, it's a color white. Choose your connection to source. So again, we feel the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the indigo, and the white. 
flowing through our bodies. And with each breath, see your auric field expanding more and more. Notice if there's any holes in your auric field. Send them extra light and love like you did for your physical body. Now, make sure you're comfortable and you scan your body. Imagine yourself walking through a spring-like field into a dark cave. And do not be afraid. You're in a safe place and nothing can hurt you here. You're surrounded by loved ones whether it be deceased ancestors, animal guides, spirit guides, or angels, you are not alone. You are never alone. And the deeper you go into the cave, the deeper you find yourself descending into yourself, into who you really are, your soul, your being, everything that's there once you take your physical body skeleton out of the picture. Who you really are, who you came into this world with, and who you're taking with you when you leave and go home. And just keep going deeper and deeper into the cave. You see a light in the distance. And you keep walking toward the light. And as you walk to the light, the light becomes brighter and bigger. And don't worry, this light is only going into the deep being of your soul, an entity. It's not taking you to the other side, so don't be afraid. It's not your time. Now look around you and notice what you see in the cave. Look with your third eye. And find objects as these objects represent different parts of yourself. For example, you might find a box of matches that represents your rage, or a broken doll that represents your inner child, or a paintbrush that represents your lost inner artist. For everyone, it'll be different objects as we've all had different experiences in our physical lives. So there is no right or wrong. And as you're walking through the cave, toward the light, collect these objects in the bag that you have with you. And don't worry about overfilling your bag. The bag can hold everything, no matter how big or small you find. And if you find an object that you don't understand, that's fine too. It's not necessary to know precisely what each object represents. And you notice you're joined by a well wise elder. Wise female elder. 
or male, dressed like a medicine man in an American Indian tribe. And she tells you her story or he. But they've been watching you and loving you and collecting these objects. And they completely understand what each object means and what part of your soul is suffering. They let you know they're going to be joining you through this journey as it can be painful. But the ultimate goal is to retrieve the parts of your soul that were lost during these traumatic experiences and get them back so they belong to you. And your mind was just trying to protect you at the time these things were taken away as a defense mechanism. And you thank your mind and your ego for trying to protect you. But you have a talk with yourself. You want to feel whole again. You want these items back. They belong to you. They are you. And notice the writing on the wall, the cave wall. What do you see? Do you see, I love you, you're, I'm wonderful. I love me, I'm wonderful. Or do you see, I'm not worthy, I don't deserve, I'm not good enough. So look at these affirmations on the wall. We're going to go one by one and see what needs to be changed. So if you find on your wall, I love me smile and just take that love into your heart if you find i'm not good enough we're going to take that down and we're going to replace it with i am good enough or i am whole and perfect as i was created I am wonderful. We're going to put that back up. This is your hall of records. Or your Akashic records. And you feel empowered with each sign you take down and replace with positive affirmation. And there's no judgment here. There's no reason to beat yourself up. Why have I been thinking this way for so long? Or where did it come from? It doesn't matter. Many people in our lives that love us or loved us, only wanted what was best for us. But they could only teach us what they knew from their experiences. And no one knows you better than you know yourself and your inner source and your team of angels and guides. Perhaps someone shows up into this cave in your life, could be a parent, a teacher, 
a minister, someone you looked up to, and they disappointed you or hurt you. Perhaps you're angry with this person. You hold a grudge. But look, let's look deeper into the soul of this person, into their inner child. Perhaps we get glimpses of what they went through in their experiences. And perhaps we can realize that they did the best they could with what they knew at the time. So we're going to send them extra light and love for their own personal growth. Or perhaps this person does not want to make amends and doesn't feel bad or think they did anything wrong to you. But how they act creates their karma. And what they do creates their karma. How we react creates our karma. And we know that many times when people hold grudges, the other person has no idea that there's a grudge being held against them and they are not harmed by the grudge or the anger. We're harming ourselves by holding on to that energy. And we thank our team and our inner source for the intelligence and understanding to be able to see past this now at this point in our lives. When we were younger, when we did not understand. But all the wonderful tools we now, now we have to deal with these things and to move on with our lives and to choose happiness over hatred. Choose light over darkness. Choose love over resentment. Eventually, you reach the light which consumes the whole tunnel. This white light is your soul. Now you're going to take the objects in your bag and throw them one by one into the light. And as you throw them into the light, parts of you will immediately reintegrate back into your soul. Perhaps you'd like to take a breath as you release each object. If it's difficult or traumatic, but just let go and let God. You're in a safe place and nothing can hurt you here.
it's in review. So you've collected all the items that need to be recycled. And rewritten all the affirmations that need to be changed. And spoke to everyone that showed up that you needed to have a conversation with at this point. And now it's time to let go of the last object. Breathe deeply and feel yourself being revitalized by this newfound increased wholeness and inner harmony. And when you're ready, and don't be afraid, step into the light. Breathe the light deeply into your being. and allow it to radiate through your entire body. Binding with your cells, binding with your DNA, permeating through all parts of your being, And inside the light, there's a magical table. And your team, the wise elder, your angels, your guides, your ancestors, invite you to lay on this table. As they'd like to do a last scan on your body an org field to see if anything else needs healing. And don't be afraid if they cyclically remove parts and replace them. Don't be afraid. They love you so much and they won't let any harm come to you. They want you to be happy and joyous. They want your best physical, and mental, emotional, and spiritual well being. They want you to sleep better at night if you don't sleep well. And notice if you feel that way from this experience. Do you feel more grounded in your body, or more solid? You feel that life is a gift, a mysterious adventure, something to be savored and embraced. You feel a sense of purpose and renewed direction. Or a newfound wholeness and sense of belonging. I'm going to leave you a couple minutes for any unfinished business that needs to be done. As this is your experience, there is no right or wrong, no judgment.
and just to enjoy this amazing light presence that is you. And that's how you were when you came into this world, perfect, innocent. Before you were socialized. But remember, your loved ones did the best they could with what they knew at the time. And if you know of any of your loved ones having suffered, you can send them extra love and light, even if they're on the other side, knowing that their inner child also suffered. And sometimes in life we have difficult situations, but we have the tools to overcome these situations. At any time, we can close our eyes and come back to this magical place. For more soul retrieval, if it needs to be done again. Or just to check. Or to see our loved ones and relatives. When you're ready, Slowly open your eyes, return to the room, and take a few minutes to reflect on what you've experienced. You might want to journal about your experiences. Slowly, come back to the here and now. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, open your eyes if you have not already. Thank you very much for joining our class. We look forward to seeing you next week. If you're on Zoom, please stay back so we can talk and share our experiences. Namaste.